eating steak, bacon or square sausage may raise type 2 diabetes risk, according to new research. A new study has found that people who eat just two servings of red meat per week can raise their chances of suffering from the condition that impacts blood sugar levels by 62%. Following the results, scientists are recommending that people limit their red meat intake to just once weekly. Research published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition on Thursday also found that replacing both processed and unprocessed red meat with healthy plant-based protein sources or modest amounts of dairy foods was associated with a reduced risk. Led by researchers from Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, their findings add further certainty to previous links between both processed and unprocessed red meat and type 2 diabetes. Our findings strongly support dietary guidelines that recommend limiting the consumption of red meat, and this applies to both processed and unprocessed red meat, said first author Shi Gu postdoctoral research fellow in the Department of Nutrition. Type 2 diabetes is a serious burden to health and is a major risk factor for cardiovascular and kidney disease, cancer, and possibly dementia. According to Diabetes UK, other foods that are increased its risk include sugary drinks, refined carbs like white bread and salty processed foods. To come to conclusions, scientists analyzed health data from 216,695 participants from the Nurses Health Study NHS, NHS2, and Health Professionals Follow-up Study HPFS. Diet was assessed with food frequency questionnaires every two to four years, for up to 36 years and during this time. More than 22,000 participants developed type 2 diabetes. In turn, participants who ate the most red meat had a 62% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who ate the least. Every additional daily serving of processed red meat was associated with a 46% greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes and every additional daily serving of unprocessed red meat was associated with a 24% greater risk. The study also found benefits in those who swapped out red meat for more plant-based proteins. They found that substituting a serving of nuts and legumes was associated with a 30% lower type 2 diabetes risk and instead eating a serving of dairy products was associated with a 22% lower risk. Given our findings and previous work by others, a limit of about one serving per week of red meat would be reasonable for people wishing to optimize their health and well-being, said senior author Walter Willett. Professor of Epidemiology and Nutrition. A separate study recently found that swapping red meat for vegetarian corn protein may lower cholesterol while shedding excess tummy fat. Unlike plant-based alternatives, these meat substitutes are made from a mycoprotein derived from fungus growth. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.